guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. Today we're talking about unplug yourself. I know it sounds like an oxymoron, but I think it's very important. If you want to be focused, if you want to really accomplish your goals, sometimes you have to unplug from the world. Unfortunately, we live in a world where we're addicted to technology. And with any addiction, acknowledgement is the first step, guys. We're in this together, okay? Listen, accept the fact, understand that this is our reality. We are now a culture that is addicted to technology. But with that being said, too much of anything is a bad thing. So recognizing that we're addicted to technology is absolutely the first step. And understanding that although technology is very helpful, sometimes it can be a distraction. We are so connected in so many different ways and technology allows us to do that. We can stay in touch with people from all over the world. We can meet people that we've never met before. Um, you can, like, there's just so many different opportunities that technology allows us to do. And I can be super productive and never leave my phone. Huge advances. There are a lot of apps that I use that keep me 100% focused, keep me productive, but there are also apps that keep me unproductive, and I have to be mindful of that as well. So despite the fact that we are such a connected culture, we're very disconnected as well. So whereas our conversation may have been a phone call back in the day, but now it's just you like the picture on Instagram and we move on, right? But... I'm challenging everyone to unplug. My favorite way to unplug is putting my phone on airplane mode. I love it. What it does is it basically turns your phone off without having to turn your phone off. The benefit to doing it in airplane mode, I don't have any incoming calls, no text messages. I can't get on social media. I can't get on the internet. I can't um, do certain things that serve to be a distraction to me. But it allows for alone time. I still have access to my alarms, my calendar, my to-do list, my notes, my notebook app, you know, all these other things I still have access to. So it keeps the productive things and eliminates the unproductive things. And making sure that the notifications on social media are turned off. It is a distraction. Just like with airplane mode, the notifications will still be there when you go look at it. I promise you, I've been doing this for a while. The notifications will be there. But every time your phone lights up or boop, 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 it draws you to go look at Instagram. It draws you to go look at Facebook. I'm not saying you can't get on Facebook. I'm not saying you can't get on Instagram. But how many times are you logging into social media versus how many times are you using apps that are keeping you productive or expanding your brain, right? So finding that balance by turning off the notifications. And one of my favorite tips, sleeping with your phone on airplane mode. It eliminates you having that, that natural urge. Like if you wake up in the middle of the night, the first thing you're gonna do is reach for your phone. It always happens. But once your body realizes there's nothing there because it's on airplane mode, you will stop eventually. You will eventually stop reaching for the phone. It's a little Nicole's nugget for you, but it helps me sleep. I've been sleeping so much better with my phone on airplane mode. Nothing can come through. And even if I go to look at the social media apps in the middle of the night, I can't get to it either. And most importantly, put the phone down. Experience the, the moments that are in front of you. And I have the challenge to challenge to myself too. Like if I'm at dinner or if I'm going out, it's like, okay, put the phone down. I might get my chosen picture, but beyond that, put the phone down and enjoy your life a little bit. All right, guys, I want to hear from you. What are your favorite ways to unplug? Put in the comments.